Let's go through the primary Adobe Suite products that you're gonna need to know for sports design. Let's start with the one you probably know, you've probably heard of, and this is Adobe Photoshop. Photoshop is the first Adobe product that I really learned and really got good at. You can kind of use it as a baseline starting point for graphic design in general. In Photoshop, you're able to do a lot of things that you can also do in the other programs, it just might not be as efficient. But generally speaking, anything related to digital graphics graphics, web graphics, even smaller print graphics like flyers, business cards, posters. You can design all that in Photoshop. Photoshop gives you the most freedom to deal with blending and creating interesting backgrounds. Cutting out players is something that you're going to do a lot of. In sports design, Photoshop is going to be your primary tool for that. And then when it comes to arranging things in general, you can create full compositions, full photo manipulations, and really create a wide range of graphic design layouts all within Photoshop. So if you're only going to learn one software or you want a software to start with, I would highly recommend starting with Photoshop. The other ones are a little bit more specific to what they're good at. The next one we'll talk about is Adobe Illustrator, which deals in vector images. If you don't know what vector images are, basically there's raster images and vector images. Those are kind of your two main categories. Raster deals with pixels, which determines the image quality. You can have a certain amount of pixels per inch, but that is like hard data that's coded into whatever image you're working with. Vector images, on the other hand, are infinitely scalable because they deal with paths and shapes and algorithms. So you can scale it infinitely large. The most common example of vector images that you're going to deal with are logos. So logos are almost entirely made in Illustrator or another similar vector-based program. Because logos need to be used in a variety of different ways, printed on a variety of different mediums, at a wide range of sizes. You have to have small logos, you have to have big logos for banners. So if you want to get into logo design, and it really is its own beast within the world of sports design and graphic design in general, you're going to be working in Adobe Illustrator a lot. And you might not be a logo designer, but are still wanting to work in sports design or currently work in sports design. You will probably have to deal with Illustrator files. They have the extension .ai. So you should be able to go into Illustrator, know how to tweak different logo colors. So Sometimes you might want to pull out a specific element from a logo to use in a specific design you're working on in Photoshop. So it's good to know your way generally around Illustrator, but if you really want to get into logo design, that's where I would emphasize learning Illustrator, maybe even before Photoshop. The third primary design software that you'll come across is Adobe InDesign. And InDesign is best used for graphics that involve layouts or multiple pages. So this is like magazines, game day programs, media guides, any like big slide deck presentation where you have, you know, slides one through 10 and you want them arranged in a singular document. InDesign is going to be your best bet for that as far as the Adobe products go. It's also super helpful for big, big print materials. So like big banners for stadiums, you're gonna wanna lay that out in InDesign. And the reason why you do that is because InDesign basically pulls other files and places them in the document. It's not like those pixels live in the InDesign file, it's merely referencing outside sources and filling it when they're called on, essentially. So that makes for a lot smaller file sizes and everything's a lot easier to work with at those big scales when you're using InDesign as opposed to Photoshop, which you can't really comfortably design in Photoshop without it getting significantly slowed down or failing to save altogether. Anything beyond like an 18 to 24 inch poster. Anything multiple feet long in either dimension, you should probably lay that out in InDesign, even if you're designing it initially in Photoshop or Illustrator. So those are kind of the big things three of sports design, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign. If you want to get into kind of a, a sub category of sports design, of course there's photography. So that I would use Adobe Lightroom if you're ever dealing with a big bulk upload of photos or if someone gives you photos or if you're a photographer. Lightroom is the quickest, most efficient way to go through a lot of photos at once and apply similar edit settings to a big batch. And if you get bored with still images and you're looking to expand your sports design arsenal of tools, go into Adobe Premiere Pro and Adobe After Effects. These are the most common video editing products in the Adobe suite. Premiere Pro is gonna kind of be your home for just managing a full timeline 
of edits, cutting clips, combining them. You can do basic effects, but After Effects is really where you want to go if you're going to do like advanced motion graphics. And you can use both products in tandem with each other. You can make motion graphics and After Effects, bring them into Premiere Pro as part of a bigger project, and the workflow can be pretty seamless back and forth. Now there is a full suite of Adobe products that I personally haven't really dove into yet. There's stuff for animation, there's Adobe Express, but really if you want to key in on what you should learn to get into sports design or to kind of evolve your sports design knowledge. Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, that's going to be your core static image graphic design softwares. Lightroom is the best for photos. And then Premiere Pro and After Effects, those are your key platforms for video editing and motion graphics. Let me know if you have any specific questions on any of these products or if you have a specific project that you're working on and you don't know how you should lay it out, whether it's in Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop. Happy to help answer any questions I can.